couple blocks from here is where we met. We just realized that on our first date, we went to this bar, and uh, at the bar was when he won me over. So we're gonna go, and he's gonna buy me a drink again 10 years later. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of romantic. It is kinda nice, yeah. Product on site, now they're closed. They're closed. Yeah. Aww. It's so sad. <laughs> so, you're so you? handsome. Oh, thank you. You're so beautiful. I'm walking to the post. <laughs> okay, I'll try not to. <laughs> This is a great shot of you. I'm just admiring you. Thank you, <laughs> That's the type of vehicle that's in like books where they like capture people and keep you in there before they take you to their lair. <laughs> Damn, they take you to a garage like that. Oh, that, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> So it's what time is it? It's 8:40. The kids are finally down in bed, and I have this 100-day, no, 30-day self-care challenge that I'm supposed to be starting today. Quite honestly, it's the last thing I want to do. What I really want to do is make oatmeal cookies. I found this really bomb recipe, and let me know if you want to see it. Cookies are so moist, and every time you bite in, you get like bits of raisins, and oh, it's so good. That's really what I'm thinking about doing, but Ryan, my husband, just messaged me and was like, are you coming to work out? I'm like, oh. <laughs> I just have to remember I'm gonna feel so much better and it makes so much more sense to actually just go and work out other than stay on TikTok and Instagram and look at girls with like amazing bodies and just being like damn that's nice <laughs> good for them <laughs> oh like I know that I'm not only gonna look better more importantly I'm going to feel better it's just 30 days right 30 days of self-care. Let's go. I honestly hate baking, but I love eating, so. <laughs> this is how we've come to me trying a ton of recipes, especially during quarantine. And not all of it, you'll see why soon. Just spread that on. It as tight as you can. I just want to eat it. <laughs> well, I know a vote you're only allowed to have one, two a day. Two a day? It's a lot. Did you eat some? No. Yeah. Would you like to try? Try what? Rolling it? Yeah. How do you do it? Roll it up, yep, yeah. just like that. I smell something. <laughs> what do you smell? Cinnamon oh. rolls, but they're not ready. <laughs> they're tasty. Oh yeah, these are definitely going to be so good, oh my gosh. Can you say props to mommy? Props. Say props to mommy. Props to mommy. Prop, props to me. All right, let's get these in. I look delicious. I wish I could just bite a whole one. <laughs> <laughs>
She's not looking as good as I. <laughs> no, it's not going to be. That's not going to be a good picture. <laughs> it looked better before. I can redeem it, okay? You think the spreading's making it worse? It seems pretty bad. It looks really bad. <laughs> I know it's gonna taste really good, but Ryan said I butchered the icing, so I'm gonna like try and redo the icing on this side and then take a picture for Instagram. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. It tastes good. Okay, good. I don't remember what cinnamon tastes like, <laughs> but this this tastes like it could come from a restaurant. Like you could franchise this. Really? Did you like a fork, sir? Um, no, I'm doing dishes tonight, so. That's true. Yeah. One last. You might just cut open your mouth, but hey, it's one last dish. One last fork. <laughs> I want to show you guys. I want to show you what I um finally put together. Although Jordan's missing. This is Madison as a baby, obviously. And Ryan. There's us on our wedding day. And there's us on Gabriel's first plane ride. I'm eating all my kids' plates. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, this is so fluffy. Let me see if I can show you. Like, come on. It's so good. Mm. <laughs> you have to try this recipe. It's so good. Hi, um, I'm calling for a pickup. Yeah, what would you like to order? Um, can I get a Frank's Best? Pizza's been ordered! <laughs> I'm so excited. We are going to go on another date uh, for our anniversary because on our anniversary i was too tired to actually get done up and i don't know i just want to celebrate so not only are we going to frank's but not only are we getting pizza from maker's pizza which is like this really really amazing pizza place in toronto definitely check it out if you haven't we're getting crab cakes also from roots chris so this is like gourmet gourmet and then on top of that we have my amazing ryan what did I get? So, what did I make? What's so amazing? Cinnabons are amazing. Yeah. I made Cinnabons. So, um, yeah. We're gonna <laughs> grub tonight and hopefully watch Dark. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Dropping out of so we are in the city if you don't know we live outside the city in the burbs in the city to get the best pizza i have ever had in my entire life so i mean i've traveled i've been to italy i've been to France, I've been to Switzerland, I've been to all those white people countries. <laughs> and I can definitely say this is the best pizza I've ever had in my life, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited to show you. And we're lost. What if we walk for? past it? That's what I was telling you. We didn't walk past it. Huh? Did we? I don't know. Anyway, how excited are you for this? Super pumped. <laughs> Yeah. I've never had this pizza before. So. Oh yeah, I ate all of it when we got it last. Well, no, okay, so my friend got it. We were at her engagement, and she had a bunch of different pizzas. And this one is like, if you like goat cheese and caramelized onions, you already know. I feel, but let me tell you what you mean to me. Slide on me for that mean greet. Vibe with me on the moonshine, sipping moonshine to the new sky. Say it's toasted and be way so in the rain. Oh, now I wish I had a mask so I could go in. Oh, I have a mask. I have one. Places. This is the menu. Can you see that? And we are getting. Oh, here it is. Frank's best caramelized onion goat cheese with 
organic. See? <laughs> Mozzarella, Parmesan, rosemary sea salt, organic honey, sesame crust. Okay, so it doesn't look as good in the dark, but it's so good. I'm it's so awful. excited. <laughs> I promise. This is gonna be one of the best pizzas you ever had. <laughs> Is it good? Is it worth the journey? Yeah. Mm. It's different. Right? Gosh. <laughs> That's honey. Mmm. It's like so greasy. You know what it tastes like? French onion soup. Alright, we're on our way to stop number two, which is crab cake. So I wanna first talk about that pizza because um it's like honey and goodness. Best part for me was the crust. <laughs> this is like the best night. <laughs> Good food, great company. <laughs> Why do I keep saying whoop whoop? It's the I second time <laughs> I've said whoop whoop. I don't know what's going on with you. It just came to me. It just felt uh, like a, a whoop whoop moment. Yeah. And then I say it and I sound weird. Alright. I'll check in when we got the goodies. Ooh, you guys are close. So we are um, at the Marriott where the Roots Chris is. Ryan just ran in. To get our crab cakes. It's the best. Just roaming around. No place to be. It's hard to do when you got kids. I've realized in the last what, eight months, a year since I stopped vlogging consistently, how much childhood trauma I'm actually dealing with. You know, it's honestly crazy when you look at your life and you see that you're still making decisions in your life from fears you had as a child. Whew. We do things that are a product of like not even our own trauma, but our parents' trauma and their parents' trauma. And our generation is different. I mean, we still grind, but we're really focused on mental health. We're really focused on healing. I did this TikTok like a month ago about like black women and just, I, it, my, mes my message was for all women, but specifically to black women, because clearly I'm a black woman. But it was about not limiting yourself. Sis, what do you mean you don't have the patience? So if you don't know, I did a video on how I thought I was going to be lonely forever. You know, everyday black girl struggle. I mean, if you look like me, it doesn't, really doesn't seem to matter how smart you are, how you know athletic you are, how nice you are. We just We just don't get approached. And so I thought that I was just going to be lonely forever until my husband came along and... He proved me wrong and we've been together now for eight years married almost and 10 years together. We've got three kids, we have a YouTube channel if you wanna see how we like interact and everything. But anyway, what breaks my heart is when I hear from fellow black women who are single and struggling in the dating scene and they say things like this, like, do you wanna be happy or not? Because there are good white guys and there are good black guys and there are good Asian guys. Like, <laughs> I understand how you're limiting your pool of candidates. Your soulmate is out there. Please, black women, share with me. Why do we do this to ourselves? I have a really big issue with success due to proximity to whiteness. And you guys might think I'm overthinking this and maybe I am. I hate being put in a box, which probably has to do with the fact that I'm a black woman and I'm put in a box every single day, no matter what I do. <laughs> uh, I'm rambling, but what I wanted to say is, like I was supposed to do that whole um, self-care challenge, but 
listen, I had to hit rock bottom first <laughs> before I could build. And I needed more than self-care at that point. It was beyond burnout. I needed therapy. And I'm just so glad and so grateful that I got that. Ferocious. Snuggle attack, daddy. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Diaper in the face. Good morning. Did I get kissed? You know, I, I took care of you. I still take care of you. I feed you most days. Ah, you just kick me. <laughs>